About a year ago, I released this shadow effect as a Motion 4 template, and I've just recently updated it to Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro 10, and threw in a little lanyap. Basically, all you have to do is just drop it on your clips as a transition, let it play through. Now the sound effect is not automatically played with the transition. You'll have to add your sound effect. I provide a sound effect with the project and let's just go over here. And I'll show you how to synchronize that. It's really easy in this. Whatever event you're working in, you can just right click on the clips portion of the browser, import files. Go to Motion Templates, Transitions, whatever category you stuck it in, the Shatter Transition folder, and inside the Media folder will be the effect. Just go ahead and import that. The way you work this is you find the first frame where the the shatter comes in right you don't see it that well in this but it's right there select the sound effect in the browser type the Q key now for this transition I've stretched it out so that it's longer than it normally plays which means it's going to play in slow motion so all you need to do is retime the audio. Alright, the end of the animation is basically there, so I will right click on the audio, retime, and then just stretch it out so that the waveform, where it tapers out right here, is at the end. And we'll see how that works. And a little slower. That's close enough. You get the idea. The other thing that's built into this now is you can reverse the effect so that the clip of the transition assembles as the optional transition. Other features that this has is an extrude. I don't recommend using a lot of this, but it has an on-screen control. You can grab a hold of it, maybe and you can design a thickness to the shatter pieces and just drag it out like that and then the on-screen control takes care of the angle and the distance and then all you have to do is decide on how you want to have it shade It's all pretty simple. That's all there is to it, really. Let me switch this over to Breakout real quick since I've already got this rendering stuff happening on this. You see it automatically switched which video is being animated. So, Breaking Out is the lead-in video and reverse is the trailer video okay I need to have one more thing when you want to reverse the audio for the reverse effect you just go ahead and add this somewhere to the timeline here you can just click on the clip, go to this menu, and reverse clip. 
and it will reverse the audio. And then same things apply. It works out pretty well in reverse for this transition. It basically lines up with the beginning of the transition and then you can just stretch it out to wherever everything is formed back together if you need to retime it. I hope you enjoy this little effect and I'll catch you on the next one.